Today, I break down a live reaction of Andy Elliott and Bridger Rogers battling on stage to handle the infamous objection, I need to think about it. Let's get into the video. What's stopping you from making a decision right now? I'm just not ready. Totally understand. Most guys who come into the program aren't ready. What do you think would make you ready? Stop. Don't say that. Look, first of all, you are ready or you wouldn't have reached out. Okay? Listen, the hardest thing to do is to take action. You did the hardest part, which was reaching out to me first. When you reached out, it's because you were probably ready to change something. Would you agree? Okay, well, I'm not going to get off the phone with you until we make that decision and get what you wanted to happen. Hey, you're the one that's going to give them bias how to think. Hey, yeah, most of my customers aren't interested. Is that really the truth? You're telling them that most of the people that reach out aren't wanting to do anything, aren't ready to do anything, and they're just thinking? Or are most of the people reaching out, taking action, changing their lives, and leveling up in your coaching program? Which one is it? First off, I love the way this guy communicates. Do you guys feel the level of conviction and clarity with the words that he's speaking? The guy's like a sniper. In fact, I actually did another live tutorial of the first time that I got on stage with Andy Elliott and he talked about the difference between being a sniper and a machine gun sprayer when you're on the phone as a sales rep. If you wanna watch that video, it'll be annotated right here or it'll be in the link in the description as well. I wanna know what you guys think. Do you think what I said would have worked on a sales call? If you're in sales, have you ever used that before? Because what I was trying to do there on the spot, which is there's over 400 people on the stage. And so I, I immediately went to my back pocket, which is what I've trained and role played over and over and over again. It's nothing new. It's called feel, felt, found. I'm sure you're familiar with it. If you studied sales, I would say, Johnny, totally understand how you're feeling right now. A lot of our clients felt the exact same way when they came into the program. And what they found was, is that going through our coaching program, they were able to overcome X, Y, Z problem. And so now coming back to the initial objection that you just handled with that person, uh, it's gonna make them feel, okay, that you were in the exact same situation, right? Another example of this would be, Johnny, I totally understand how you feel. In fact, I felt the exact same way when I started working out. But what I found was is that after training for years and following intermittent fasting is that my body actually adapted to it and I actually got more done in the morning because I had that mental clarity. And so that's what I was doing there. I'm curious for you guys, have you used Feel Felt Found? Have you found it effective? Leave it in the comments below. And if you have another objection, handle that you guys would like to have me do a live tutorial reaction video on, drop it in the comments below. Now, the second point I wanna make here that Andy Elliott points out is that you as the sales rep are leading the prospect on the phone with the beliefs that they have. You're creating a mental bias, a cognitive bias and setting the frame. So I agree hundred percent with this, that you are leading that call. You are leading that frame. It's your responsibility to help coach and shift their beliefs. That's the most powerful way that you can close is if you can find that underlying belief when you're talking to a person that's stopping them from making a decision and you can break that belief, you can shatter that belief, if you can, you can shift that belief, then you can close the deal, you can bridge the gap. So he's spot on with this. If you want to get access to my free sales brotherhood, it's gonna be the first link in the description. I do coaching calls, exclusive training, role play breakdowns. You can actually listen to some of my sales calls live inside of the free community and network with the other guys who are in sales who are making 10, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 a month commission in all different types of industries. Door to door, solar, security. We've got guys doing high ticket coaching. You name it, we're gonna help you get better at objections and master the bridging the gap selling system, which is what I'm famous for. I have a script, I have a system of way of doing things that allows me to close anyone, anytime, anywhere, any place with any offer. And I truly mean that. I've sold everything, guys. Health, wealth, relationships, you name it. I've sold it. I've done it, especially in the coaching space. My mission is for you to know me as the high ticket coaching sales team. Okay. If you want to do high ticket coaching, you come to Bridger for the Bridging the Gap sales system. So getting back to the reaction video, guys, I want to know from you, the people vote, who won this live reaction sales role play training? Andy Elliott, or Bridger Rogers. One of the most controversial debates about sales was between Grant Cardone and Jordan Belfort only just a few short years ago where they got on Jordan's podcast and battled head to head. And Grant said the infamous quote, no interest is a level of interest. I want to know from you guys watching, do you believe that no interest is a level of interest? Leave it down in the comments below. And if you guys want me to do a live reaction video on that video and get my thoughts on it, let me know in the comments as well. The best way to get a hold of me is join my Bridge Builder Brotherhood. First link in the description. We cover all things sales, brotherhood, babes, 
body, business. It's the best place to be if you want to level up and become a B5 successful man. First link in the description. Leave it in the comments down below. Guys, I am Bridger Rogers. This is Bridging the Gap. This was a live reaction video. If you have any other live reaction videos that you'd like me to do, leave it in the comments down below. Looking forward to talking to you guys. Till next time. All right, congratulations. If you made it to the end of the video, you're a one percenter. So do me a favor, do a couple things for me. Number one, share this with someone that you feel like would get tremendous value from this video. And then number two, we've got content that'll help you level up and bridge the gap in multiple areas of life. Your belief systems, your mindset, your body, your business, your brotherhood, your babe. So all you gotta do is hit the link right here to watch my most recent video on how to bridge the gap with your belief system, with your body, with your business, with your brotherhood and help you find a babe. See you guys in the next video.